In today's video, I've got five facts about Echidna from the series ReZero slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Echidna's bio, abilities in the anime, her voice actors, her connections to Puck, Beatrice, and Roswell, and more. Quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And for more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the facts. Echidna is one of the main characters of the ReZero Second series and the Witch of Greed, who also renamed herself as Omega. Echidna's name refers to 42355 Typhoon 1 Echidna, and in Greek mythology, Echidna is a monster whom was the mate of Typhoon. Echidna made her debut in episode 27 of the anime and chapter 1 of the manga. Born a witch, her birthday is on the 24th of January, which makes her an Aquarius just like me. Age-wise, she has the appearance of a woman in her mid-twenties and is said to be 19 years of age in spirit years. This refers to her rebirth and instated in a special chapter, Echidna bought with her the souls of five other witches that reside in her necklace. Echidna is described as an extraordinarily stark beauty and has definitely caught the attention of many degenerate weebs as the contender for best girl this season. She definitely has a lot of the noise attributes, but is someone whose beauty is, you know, almost overwhelming in the sense that she injects such a fear into those few whom, you know, have been lucky enough to meet her. Some have even been brought to vomiting in her presence. Such is her stance. That and, you know, obviously serving her own body fluids as beverages but I know there are a few that would be cool with that, you know. Each to their own, I guess. She has a pale, almost ghost-white skin tone. Her hair is long, white, and worn down, reaching around her lower back, with a black butterfly clip on her left side. Her eyes are also a deep black, and her eyelashes match the white tone of her hair. Attire-wise, Echidna wears a pitch-black dress that you would expect one to wear at a funeral. Personality-wise, Echidna is someone who has a very nonchalant aura about her. She tends to smile and act rather playfully, however this is mostly a facade as she is described as a black-hearted sociopath witch who cannot understand the feelings of others. Echidna has no problems in doing what she needs in order to attain any knowledge that she seeks and will lie, cheat and deceive others to get what she wants. Subaru himself described Echidna as one who is just as dangerous as the White Whale and the Sin Archbishop of Sloth. Maybe even more so. Now, for all this talk of Echidna's ill will, in truth, she only acts this way towards three people. Satella, one other, and of course, Amelia. Echidna claims to have hated Amelia since the very first moment she met her. Echidna does have knowledge about Amelia's parents, claiming that Amelia is just as stubborn as her mother. And even more interesting is that Echidna claims to have personally known Amelia's mother, and it is said that it's one of the reasons for her hatred towards her. Now, that is something that she hates even more about Amelia, and that is her dependence on Subaru. As we know, Echidna is the curious type who thirsts for knowledge, and it is this that defines her very character. Echidna has a great interest in Subaru's return by death ability, and even refers to her intrigue as love. Thus, she points all of these feelings in his direction. She wants to go as far as becoming his advisor so that she can record the many possibilities that come from his ability. Echidna's Japanese voice actor is Maya Sakamoto. She has voiced other characters such as CL Phantom Hive in Black Butler, Krona from Soul Eater, Shinobu Oshino in Nisei Monogatari, Ruler slash Jean d'Arc from the Fate franchise, and more. Now, at the time of the making of this video, they have only released the dub cast for, you know, six of the ReZero characters. So, you know, of course, at this point, I do not know who Echidna's English voice actor is. But as always, feel free to drop that info in the comments when this is announced. And, you know, knowing my luck, they've probably announced her before this actually gets released. But, uh, I will! In terms of abilities, as we know, Echidna is the Witch of Greed, and in so is able to use the authority of greed. 
The authority of greed allows its user to stop the time of themselves or anything they have touched. And... Wait, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This sounds very similar to the ability of a certain someone you know I, I just love to mention at any given opportunity. The waifu, Kurumi Tokasaki. Nice! Not even sorry. Anyway, yes, they can stop the time of even their own breath. This ability stops any interference from the outside world, and effects will only take place inside this inside world, if you will. Even better than this is that the user will take no damage here, no matter the power of the attack that they face. Of course, the downside of this ability is the amount of times that they can use this. In using this ability, the user's heart stops, so it could be deadly. However, when combined with another authority of Greed's abilities, this can be neutralized. Using the ability Small King, the user can merge their own heart with another of his kingdom. By this, they mean that any woman that the user has confirmed as their wife will be a candidate to merge their heart with, meaning they can use the previous ability as much as they please using a pseudo heart. The final ability is called Core Leonis, also known as the Lion Heart, which is a reverse of Small King, in which the user takes on the burden of another by physical or mental means. This is a temporary exchange for things such as combat abilities and whatnot. This, of course, only works on people that the user has an emotional connection with. Now, back to Echidna specifically, she is able to use all six elements of magic, including an attack called Goa, in which Echidna can manifest a huge blaze of fire that she will use to incinerate her enemies. Looking into Echidna's backstory, a long time ago she was a much different person from the one we are seeing on our screens at the moment. She was a constant warrior and thought of all things as her children, and of course in such wanted to protect her children. In a world where control was easy by simply breaking things apart with, you know, a mere swing of a hand, Echidna decided to put all of her efforts into protecting things instead. However, try as she might, no matter how hard she tried, she was unable to achieve her goal and felt just how powerless she actually was. Despite this, Echidna fought through her own despair and rejected defeat. Not giving up, she thought she could attain her goals by having more people with this common interest on her side. Now, before she established the Sanctuary, she lived on a floating island, and it was during the Witch's era that she served as the tutor for Roswell after she saved his life by fixing his defective gate. She also created both Beatrice and Puck nearly 400 years ago, and the two show respect to her and see Echidna as their own mother. But thanks for watching, this is my video, Five Facts About Echidna from the series ReZero. Let me know in the comments who you would like to see next. And a huge shout out to Warwick, Animator22, and Rem for supporting me on Patreon. Of course, don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Come hang out with me on Twitch and Discord during the week, link is in the description, and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs, peace!